Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How you guys doing? This is Inshaga Talk Show. We got to Scott Nazi was Bella. And we do have a special guest in the building, ladies and gents, a pioneer into the bodybuilding world. We do have a, a, an amazing person in the studio with the utmost discipline as well, for sure, and the career that he has, because we've been talking about discipline today. Please, round of applause to my guest, Jonas McCone, joining me today, and the CEO, owner of uh, Ambassador Fitness. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing perfect, man. How are you? Oh, man, all good, all great. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you know, on the Insha Good Talk Show Friday morning. I know you've been, you recently got, you came back recently as well for a, a show and so forth. Yeah. So we're going to get into that, but uh, just basically give us an introduction about you and how you got into the fitness world. Well, uh, thank you first for having me here. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. uh, I got into the fitness world when I was 15. Uh, I wrote a letter to Arnold and said, hey, you know, I want to be a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do? Mm -hmm. And uh, three months later, he actually replied. Well, you wrote a letter to who? To Arnold. Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger. So he, I, uh, for real? Yeah, the governor. <laughs> <laughs> full on, you wrote a full on letter. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote a letter because, uh, you know, I live around uh, in Shalomeda, so American Embassy is like two minutes away. So we used to get this uh, newsletters and everything. And inside of it, there's a little... Um, pamphlet that you can use to to select to write the celebrities mm -hmm. so my uncle at that time asked me he's like hey you know i have the contact information to arnold do you want to reach out to him and i was like absolutely mm -hmm. so we wrote a letter and just you know basic question and saying hey i admire you and i want to be a bodybuilder and what do i need to do uh three months later he replied and said hey uh, you live, you know, so far away, I can't help you, but there's a Flex magazine that comes out every two months, and you should just check that out, and that will give you some guidance and what you need to do. And uh, that was the end of it, you know? <laughs> so, ever since then, I just... That's an incredible that. story. Yeah. I, I never story. would have guessed yeah. that, <laughs> yeah. you know, you wrote a letter to Arnold and literally <laughs> told him that you want to get into the fitness world. That's what yeah. you mean. You know, you want something, you just go after it. Yeah. Doesn't matter where, how far, they, who that person is, just attract that. Yeah, you just you just got to call it to existence and just, you got to put in the work. I think uh, a lot of people's, um, you know, struggle is, one is, you know, being decisive. You know, what do you want? Mm. And then once you want, once you know what you want, the second step is just to find out in you know, the information what do you need to get into your fitness goal or whatever goal that you have. Mm. And the third part is action. Mm. You know, you take action. Without action, whatever dream that you have it just stays dream. Mm. So, I mean, find out what you want, get the information, the certification, whatever else that you need, and then you know, put in a grind, put wow. in the work. I mean, definitely. I can only imagine, especially as well. If it, you, you just received the letter, but to be actually get into that world, I don't know how much discipline it requires to a get. Uh, it's just the utmost. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. How how did you adapt to that? How did you get into that discipline? How the mindset? Uh, I really wanted it. I think you know my why was a lot bigger than my excuses. Oh. Hmm. You know, so when you when you are determined to get what you want, mm. and you're willing to work, the result comes. And uh, I mean, I ate oatmeal for breakfast for ten years in a row. Oh. So it comes to the point that's like taste it does not matter because you know your breakfast. goal is, you know, to get into that destination. You know, Tony Robbins says, uh, if you want to take over the island, you got to burn the boats. Mm. That means there's no turning back. When you have that mentality, nothing can stop you. It's just a, it's just a matter. It, it's it looks hard. It's a simple plan, like literally, it's a simple plan, but it's hard to do, mm. and and then it's easy not to do it too. So mm. it's just a matter of like approaching the consistency and the discipline. And it's like, you know, you get up in the morning, you have a choice. Mm. I can eat a pancake, or I can eat egg white, egg mm. whites. So. Which one gets you there? Mm. We know that. Mm. But we we just born with options and we always look into the options. Easy way out. Easy way out. 
easy way out yeah. definitely i think that's instant glorification is what has been like a big problem especially now in this generation as well because we're so used to uh, doing things and getting the reward right away you yep. know what i mean people yep. go to a gym and then they reflex in the next day I'm like wow <laughs> this is not for me i'm just gonna go diet i don't know something i'm just gonna for a walk or something so i think that is the biggest problem is with our instant glorification mindset man we do have